Hello internet, me again, <laughs> as if you didn't know, you're on my channel. Um, I wasn't going to film this, but I'm going to give it a go. It may make the channel, it may not. Um, it's a job that I've been putting off a little bit. The last couple of times I've ridden this, although it's, it's fine, it's been stalling when it comes up to ticking over. It it was tick over no problem you'll come into traffic lights or something like that it will tick over but as soon as you try and pull away blah, it dies so i think the carbs need a little bit of attention so i'm going to start ripping the seat off the tank off and i'm going to see if i can get the carbs off and start cleaning the jets and things like that um again it's not running bad and at speed it runs fine you get it over four thousand, it runs fine it's a little bit lumpy under that um, but I say, it's when you come up to a junction or something, you sit there for any length of time. Um, so when you try and pull away, it just dies. Can't have that at all. So that's just dangerous. So I think it's like carbs. They haven't been cleaned in a very long time. So um, let's get on with it. So first job, front seat off. Back seat, obviously, you can take off with the keys. Oh, that's tight. Not usually that tight. But the front seat, you got to undo that and slide that out to take it off. There you go, just like that. Do yourself a favour, put it back in again. Do you know you lose it? <laughs> there you go. Let's pull it up, pull it back, seat off. Easy as that. Right, done this before, but I'll take you through it again. So, tank off. One, two bolts. Two at the front, there and there. And of course, you've got to take your tap off. So, it's a Phillips screw in there. And obviously, you've got to take your fuel line off as well. All right, let's do it. Now, I'm not going to go through every single part of this, but you get the, the idea anyway. So that's the tank off. Um, fuel hose just there. It's quite a new one, that put up on only about a month ago. Um, these clips are a pain in the backside, but you'll get it off, no problem. Just remember to turn your tap off first. <laughs> right, next part. Airbox. So, with the airbox, you've got two there and there. Uh, obviously the ones around the top, pretty obvious, but to actually get the shield off, you've got two in here as well, so you have to take the top off, because you have to get these two out too. These two out too? It's kind of poetic. Hmm. Um, almost forgot, another one there as well. Right, when you got all those out, last ones, the induction side just here, comes from your ram air at the front. And screw them like that, both sides should all come out. And there you go, as if by magic, it's all off. And there's your carbs. I think while I'm in here as well, I might check the spark plugs. I've got a feeling that somebody in the comments said they want to see how to um, remove the spark plugs. So you need a special spanner, I'll warn you now. So yeah, might do those as well. But uh, yeah, wasn't that funny? Um, but yeah, <laughs> next thing, carbs off. Right, I've got the water pipes to take off yet from there. Um, shouldn't be much spillage from there, hopefully. Um, I'm not going to drain the coolant because it's pumped through there and it's quite high, so I don't think there'll be much problems. Um, got to take the throttle cables off, but I think to do that, I've got to take the grip off. Um, but this is where it comes in handy to be uh, into RC. I've got a, a number H3, which if we get you in there, can you see it? Fits perfectly onto those. And they need to come off to get the carbs off. <laughs> Multifunction. Right, so get in there. Um, got all these screws loose. <laughs> You've yeah, got loads of screws loose. And uh, got the carbs to come loose. So again now I've just got to take these pipes off, looking for the easiest way to do it. With a lot of these, what I've done is just like that one, taken it straight off the pump uh, and left all the pipe work in place because um, the easier I can make it on myself, the better. Uh, so that pipe seems to come from down there on the filter. So if I disconnect that and disconnect that side, 
we should be good. It's just the cables holding it then. So let's get the handle off and undo the cables in there. That'll slacken them off enough to get them out of there. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be good. And it's the first time I get to use my J JIS screwdrivers. Yeah, proper Japanese industry standard. Or something. So, crack the handle open. All I need to do is get that one off there and the one on the other side in there. A little bit difficult to get to, but possible. They're not slacking them off enough to release them in here. And then, um, yeah, once I've taken all the pipes, water pipes off, as said, should be good. Right, stuck some hose onto the water lines and uh, plug those off so they shouldn't leak. Uh, last thing is to take out the throttle adjuster, just there. A couple of screws. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there's a couple of screws in there. You'll see them. And that then comes out as a whole unit. So now I should be close to removing it. So um, let me get two hands on the job and a bit more attention. And there we go. The carbs are off. So, yeah, I split the water pipe there. And there, um, off of there and down there. And uh, yeah, left as much on as possible. Obviously now I've got to get into the bottom. Um, there's petrol coming out, <laughs> as you would expect. Uh, I've got to get into the bottom there, look at all the jets and everything. They're not looking too bad. Um, I've quickly sort of looked over the, the space and the way they're, they're operating and they don't look far out. Um, like I say, when it's running, uh, when you're at speed, it's not a problem at all. Um, it's just, yeah, I think I had a pipe breakdown. Um, one of these cheap fuel pipes um, that's supposed to be resistant to everything and lasts about 20 seconds. Uh, I had one of those breakdowns, so I suspect that some of that ended up in the bowls. Right, uh, again, I'm not going to film too much of this because I really want to crack on. Um, but, yeah, I'll do as much as I can for you. So that's the first bowl cracked open and uh, yeah, definitely think I made the right choice. Doesn't look too bad in there, but it don't look good in there. Well, I've gone through carb one, taken all the jets out. Some have still got to be put back in again. Uh, cleaned the bowl up, a little bit of rubber grease around the, the rubber itself. Some of this wonderful stuff. And uh, I think that's number one done. Again, I wasn't going to do much video in here and it's, well, it's just done just got about nine o'clock i think so i think for tonight that'll do um i've got uh well it's friday no it's thursday tomorrow so i've got thursday night and then i've got uh friday night as well so hopefully by the weekend uh we'll get some nice weather and uh, i'll get the bike back together and it'll be running sweet as a nut right um i'm giving in for tonight but this video will carry on obviously for for you guys because you know days and nights don't matter on youtube right um yeah, catch you in a minute. Tomorrow for me. Well, oh, hello internet. Um, yeah, I'm back again. It's the morning, but not for you. It's the same video. Um, right, as I said, wasn't going to show you every single detail of this, but I've had all the bowls off now. Uh, cleaned them all out, cleaned all the jets out. Some of the primary jets were quite plugged up, so um, yeah, understandably it's running a bit icky. Um, but now it's, uh, it's a reassemble. So again... I want to get on with this job and want to get the bike back together so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through every single detail but um, it's pretty much a reverse of what I did before um, obviously I've got to unplug everything um, the tricky bit I think is going to be the cables because they were a bit of a pain to be fair um, but yeah got to be done um, and it's nice and sunny out there so mm, who knows later might have to go and take it for a test drive I think first of all though, what I might do, is just have a quick look at the spark plugs. Now I did say earlier, you've got to have a special tool for these. Luckily for me, I have a tool bag that came with the bike, which is full of tools. It's full of something else in there as well. What's that? Ah, that's that. Um, so in this here tool bag, luckily for me, not that one, that one. 
got spark plugs by there. It has to be really, really thin just there because you haven't got much room between the wall of the engine and the spark plug itself. So this is ideal for me. Um, but if you haven't got one, then you're going to have to buy one. Sorry. <laughs> right. Let's have a quick look at these then. Right. So really easy to get off. Push the pin down. Slide it off like that. Um, these are a little bit more tricky. So let me show you what I use. I use a little bit of leverage and then it should pop up. I might need two. Which I'm going to need two hands for. There you go, popped it up. So, so literally just get a little bit of leverage under there. Don't go mad because it's plastic. And then, oh, that's in the way on number one. But you can just squeeze it by. And there you go. That's what the coil pack looks like. A little bit of moisture in there. Not too much. Not worried about that. Right. Um, spark plugs right down there. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I get it down? There. So let's get the spanner in. Spanner down. Yeah, this tube is a right pain on the backside. It's just in the wrong place. But anyway, believe me, it does go down there. Give me a min. There you go, we're in. So let's get it out. Obviously, once you've cracked them, pretty easy to get out. He says, This is great camera work, by the way. This is why you obviously subscribe to this channel. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, um, yeah, you know the drill. Uh, the content does sometimes get a bit more interesting. Honest. Well, maybe not. And are we there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No old threads on these. Talk amongst yourselves just for a minute. Get out of the way. God, blow me neck. <laughs> are we there? Are we there? I don't expect these are going to be in bad shape, to be honest, because they're relatively new. Ah, there we go. We're out. Move that pipe a bit more. Now it comes. Oh, I need two hands. And there you go. It's out. Yeah. They're in pretty good shape, like I say. They don't look too bad. A uh, little bit of carbon on them, but uh, the actual tip and everything all looks pretty good to me. So, yeah. Not concerned there. Clean it up, put them back in, do the rest. Right, I think we're pretty much all back together. Um, did all the spark plugs, obviously bolted all the carburetors back on. Just put a little bit of fuel in the pump. So, um, let's, let's drop our keys. Yeah, let's drop our keys just there, because that would be a stupid thing to do. That's just like me. Let's switch the ignition on. Bit of choke, will anything happen? Ooh, getting there. A little bit more fuel, hold on. Right, there we go. Right, a little bit more fuel. Hope you can hear me. Uh, she seems happier. Right. Let's switch it off. <laughs> We're a bit stuck out as well. Ah, gas is lovely. Right, let's um, let's get it bolted up and let's get it running properly. 
And that is it. She's almost back in one piece, just the seat to put on. So, uh, she's got some fuel in the carbs, a little bit of choke. How's she sound? Well, that definitely sounds a lot more responsive. Um, before, when it was cold, if you tried to rev it up, it would cough and splutter and really didn't like it, but that was good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy riding it. Maybe later. Hmm. Got jobs to do first, but, hmm. I think it's time she came out. Right, I'll do for now. Catch you later. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye for now.